Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello, this week I want to speak to you about going with the flow and giving up resistance. And when I'm talking about resistance, what I'm talking about is resistance to abundance, to manifestation, to the flow of life. And resistance is the only thing that prevents us from being abundant, from being able to manifest what we want into our life. And we have so much resistance. We have it in the beliefs that we think, we have it in the programs that we've programmed into our lives, we have it in the way that society is and what we think is appropriate and not appropriate and possible and not possible. So there's lots of different resistances that come up um, in the course of our lives. But today what I want to talk about is the resistance to the unfolding of life, the resistance to the journey that you're on and the making of it, making wrong of it. And the reason I want to talk about this is because we're constantly firing off desires and thoughts and, you know, aspirations to what we want to experience in life. And the only thing that stops us from experiencing that, as I've said, is the resistance to it. And quite often when we think of something that we want to experience, um, be it a relationship, be it a new job, be it an adventure, um, be it some sort of abundance. We have an immediate idea of what we think the steps are that will take us from where we are to what we want to experience. And the problem with that is that our idea of what those steps should be is limited by the information that we have in our minds, in our subconscious. And it's limited by what we fed it. So we can't possibly have read every single book in the world. We can't possibly have experienced every experience in the world. We can't possibly know everything there is to know about what will take us from here to there. But source, and I call it source or the universe, you might want to change that for God or Allah or, or anything like that. Um, I'm not, this isn't specifically focused on spiritual people. It could be this, this what I'm speaking about affects anyone and everyone, whatever your religious beliefs are. But we cannot know every single way, or the quickest way even, to get ourselves from where we are to where we want to be. But Source does know. Source has an exact clear idea of exactly what will get us from where we are to where we want to be. Want to be. But it might not necessarily be the most comfortable route. Um, it might hurt. <laughs> it might be bumpy. It might be uncomfortable. And sometimes when those things become uncomfortable, we start pushing back and we start thinking, no, this is not where I'm meant to be going. This is going in the completely the wrong direction. In fact, it's all falling apart. Maybe I've done something wrong. Maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I haven't studied enough. Maybe I haven't tried hard enough. And we start making the journey that we're on wrong. And as soon as we make that wrong, then we are resisting the path that we're on. And as soon as we resist, we make where we are even more uncomfortable. And we start fighting with source as to how to get from where we are to where we want to be. And yet, we have no idea that the journey that we're being taken on might be the very thing that helps us to achieve what it is that we're actually aiming to achieve in the long run. Uh, for example, um, I started off with life and I knew I was kind of here to do something, but I wasn't absolutely sure what it was that I was here to do. And it took me years to figure it out. And through the years that I was trying to figure it out, I had a number of different jobs. Um, I worked in a number of different countries. Um, I had numerous experiences, but not one of them I found fulfilling. But what those different positions, those different experiences did teach me, they taught me a lot about what I didn't want. And finally, when I did find my vocation, which is consciousness coaching and training and all those sort of things that go with that, um, I, I just... I knew it and I appreciated it so much more. If I hadn't have had those experiences before I found it, then I don't think I would have experienced it or appreciated it nearly as much. And I think that's what it is about trusting the journey, going with the flow and stopping making everything wrong is because we can't really see the bigger picture from where we are on this earth, from our perspective. It's impossible to look beyond and to see everything. But Source is doing that. It knows every single little bit of piece that falls into your life and how it fits together. And how to start giving up resistance to the journey, for starters, is trying to look for why whatever you're going through could be of benefit to you. 
Why could it be good? And even contrasts are good because when you know what you don't like, you start to know what you do like and you can appreciate that. So the more you experience what you don't like, the more you can appreciate what you do like. I remember once when I was single and I wanted to experience a relationship and I was using all the manifesting tools that I had to create the space for that. And the final piece of that manifestation, and I remember it so clearly because once I got it, it was only four days after that that I actually met the person that I ended up being in a relationship with. And that piece was to give up resistance to my life at that moment. Stop making where I was wrong. Stop making being single wrong. And instead of making it wrong, make it oh so very right. Um, and that day, I remember sprawling out over my bed when I went to sleep, thinking I don't have to be aware of anyone else in my bed. I remember eating whatever I wanted to eat, thinking I don't have to take anyone else into consideration. I remember going out and enjoying my freedom because I didn't have to let anyone know what I was doing or where I was going or take them into consideration. And as I said, as soon as I gave up resistance and making that, my life at that time wrong, within four days... <laughs> I met the person who I then ended up in a relationship with. Um, and that's what it is about giving up that resistance. It's not making where you are right now wrong. Whatever's going on in your life, it's, it's, it's about embracing it and trying to make it right um, and turning it around so that you can appreciate where you are right now and giving up that resistance. Because when you give up the resistance, it's like trying to, instead of trying to paddle up a river, um, and trying really, really hard to go the way you think you need to go. It's about putting the oars up, pointing the boat downstream and allowing the current to take you. It's faster, it's swifter, it's more enjoyable, it's less exhausting, less stressful. And all in all, it's a much more pleasant experience. I hope you've enjoyed this week's little instalment. Um, you can always contact me through my social media or through my website if you were interested in coaching with me or if you're interested in any of my online courses. And if you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe so you don't miss any more in the future. And if you fancy sharing it, I would always appreciate that as well. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.